Hi Reception, so this afternoon we're learning about the natural world and we've already explored the natural world when we've been at school. We've looked at seasonal changes and we've looked at animals and materials in the environment so we know how to talk about similarities and differences. So our topic, Jack and the Beanstalk, lends itself really well to exploring plants. So our learning challenge this afternoon is can you talk about similarities and differences in plants? Now similarities are things that are the same and differences are the things that are different. So we know that. But before we do that, we need to have the knowledge of what is a plant and what are the different parts of a plant in it to, so we can talk about them. So I've got a picture of a plant and I've got some arrows and we're going to have a look at the different parts so you can go off and explore some plants of your own. So the first thing I'm going to point to is this part of the plant here. Now this bit would usually be in the ground and we call those the roots. So I'm going to write the word roots. And the roots have a really special job because they keep the plant planted so it's nice and firm in the ground so it doesn't fall over. It's really important to keep it upright. And also the roots, they suck up the water and they suck up all the minerals, the goodness in the soil that keep the plant nice and healthy. So now we know what the roots are. I'm going to point to this part, this, lot, this tall stick and it's called the stem. So I'm going to write stem. And the stem has a special job as well because if you look, it is connected to the roots. So the straw, the stem is like a great big straw and it sucks the water and it takes the water to the different parts of the plant. So it's a really important part. So uh, let's go to our next part. The next bit of knowledge is this bit. This is called the petals. So I'll write that word down for you. Petals. And the petals job is to protect the plant. So inside there is a flower head and those petals keep that protected. But also they're usually bright colours so there'll be oranges and yellows and pinks and reds and that attracts the bumblebees because we want the bumblebees to come and feed on the plant. So that's the two jobs that the petals do. And then finally we're going to have a look at this part of the plant. A bit like on the beanstalk, it has lots of leaves. So this is a leaf. Now the leaves have a special job too. They are at the side and they point up to the sky and they collect all the sunshine and then that turns into food for the flower to grow. So now we've got this knowledge we can go off and explore. I'm going to go find some plants so I'll see you in a minute. I'm back! So I've been all around the school looking for some plants. So I've been in a class to get a plant and another class to get a flower. So when we're looking at similarities and differences, it means we have to look really closely, really closely. And we can't just go, done. So I'm looking at this plant really closely and I'm using that knowledge. Can you remember we were looking at parts of the plant? And I can definitely see that this one has got a stem that's holding it upright in the pot. So I know that this one's got a stem. Maybe I'll have a look at this one and see if it's got something similar. <gasps> oh, yes, it's got a stem the same as well. They've both got stems, so that means that's a similarity. Oh, what's the next thing? I'll have a look. Oh, it's got some nice green leaves. I wonder if this one has got, oh, here it is. It's got some green leaves. So that's two similarities. Brilliant. Oh, I wonder what that other knowledge, bit of knowledge was. Roots, let's see. Oh, I can see all the roots are holding it in the plant pot and ready to suck some water. So this one's got roots. Let's have a look. Oh, oh no, these flowers have been chopped. So the roots are not there anymore. So that's a difference. 
so that's a difference oh let me see i can see a beautiful white petals in this flower so i'm going to go over to my next plant and see if that's got any petals no no petals that's that's something that's different to us as well so well done me i can identify things that are the same similarities and things that are different. Now, why don't you go and have a go? Maybe you could go in the garden, or maybe you've got some flowers or plants in your house. So off you go and do some similarity and difference hunting. Bye.